mini candy canes, or you can use the regular sized ones if you want to. Christmas sprinkles, white chocolate chips or milk chocolate chips, whichever you prefer, I'm going to be using both. And you're also going to need a cookie sheet lined with wax paper. I also wanted to mention these would be adorable to make for Valentine's Day, so keep that in mind and maybe stock up on candy canes after Christmas. So first of all, we're going to start out by taking our candy canes out of the wrappers, and I'm just going to go ahead and put mine in this bowl. Next, we're going to take two candy canes to form a heart and start laying them on the wax paper. Okay guys, now we're going to need our chocolate chips. Now we're just going to pour the chocolate chips into a microwave safe bowl. Next we're going to microwave the chocolate chips. I'm putting mine in for one minute, but I stop and stir it at 30 second intervals. And then we're just going to keep putting it back in until it's melted. Next you're going to need a Ziploc baggie. If you don't have one, it's okay. You can always just use a spoon. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in just a second. And next you're going to need a glass or a cup. Now we're just going to take our baggie and put it on the inside of the glass. Now you're just going to pour the chocolate into your baggie. Now you're going to take the baggie out of the cup and you just want to make sure that you get the chocolate onto one side of the bag so it's like down in one corner and then you're just going to go ahead and twist the bag and I do not recommend stealing the baggie because otherwise it can pop while you're squeezing the chocolate out and it will make a mess. Next you're just going to cut a tiny hole in the corner of the bag. Okay and now we're just going to start piping the chocolate into the candy canes. Like I said if you don't have a baggie you can also just use a spoon but using the baggie works a lot easier. After you piped your chocolate in, if you want it a little bit smoother, you can just use your spoon to smooth it out. And now it's time to add our sprinkles. You can also take any broken candy canes you have and crush them up and use them as sprinkles. And here is what they look like when they are finished. These would also make a great Christmas gift. All you have to do is put them on a cute Christmas plate. And these are also super yummy with a nice cup of hot chocolate. 